for your CDs. I just want to show you where to find the single play, continuous play, and also the time countdown or count up, which is very useful. Looking at the CD decks, all decks are a little different uh, based on the brand. So with these ones, the single continuous play is here. It's SGL and then the over top of CTN, so single over continuous. And simply hitting it once will activate single play and you'll see the word single appear just above the track number. Single is good if you don't want your track to go into the next one, it'll just stop right at the end of that track that you're playing, which is great in case you haven't turned off your line on on air. You don't want to make that mistake where it goes right into the next song and you don't intend for that. If you wanted to, then of course you take it off and leave it on continuous play. That could be useful if you wanted to feature a couple of songs back to back off a new album, let's say, or old album, whatever you're doing. Or if you had to go for a quick break, for some reason you had to leave the studio, you can't have dead air, so you can't just leave it on a single track and hope to be back in time. So you leave it on continuous and you can step out for a few minutes and come back. That could also go with, if you're the last person in the booth at night, you can leave it on, uh, on continuous play. Only if you know that that track or that CD will go continually through, it'll repeat itself, the whole CD, it won't just stop at the very last song, and then that's it, we have dead air again, so always make sure that after the last song it goes back to the first song and continues playing. With the time countdown, which is right next to it, simply hit that once, it'll switch to the count up function, which is not as useful as a countdown function, single single track countdown is probably the best option for you so you know how much time is left on one track count up or the third option is the total album countdown